Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome everybody to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. This is my first bit of Binding of Isaac on YouTube. Um, and it's almost my first bit of Binding of Isaac ever. So, for complete uh, transparency's sake, I have left the file that I've previously played on stream open. I think I've played a total of three, maybe four runs ever. Let me see. Deaths one and best streak two. So that would be three runs that I've done. I've unlocked the epilogue, ending one, and the credits. I've not played much of this game. Uh, I'm familiar with a little bit of it. But I've never really experienced Isaac. And what I'm about to do? Oh, I've deleted my progress. We are going to be starting fresh here on stream to get the uh, semi new experience Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus um, as, <laughs> as sort of a build up to something greater. So let's go into a new run. Clearly, we're going to be using Isaac. We've got a lot of characters here that I could unlock. I guess I should keep some of them in mind. Unlocked by having seven plus heart containers. Unlocked by holding 55 plus pennies. Not picking up hearts for two levels. I don't think we're gonna do that right away and not taking damage for two levels. Let's just get into an Isaac run. So for those of you who don't know, The Binding of Isaac is a twin stick shooter game. I'm this crying little kid in a basement, shooting my tears. Um, and it's also a roguelike game, or a roguelite, for those of you who are um, more purists, where each time I play the game, it is procedurally generated to be a little bit different. Now the generation happens off of seeds, and I believe I can see the seed somewhere. Let's see, there it is. S-N-M-S-C-E-T-S. If you want to play the same seed that I'm on, there it is. The game does allow for that. So you should see the same items. For example, the Ludo Vicho technique. This is an item I'm aware of. This is going to be an interesting first run. So now instead of those tiers I was shooting earlier, I've got this uh, one large tier that I can control. No more individual tiers shot. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> So, I said that this was sort of to build up to something greater. There's my first damage already. Ludovico technique is a little hard to focus on. Or it's not too hard to focus on the tier, but perhaps moving myself at the same time is what's difficult. I have seen some of Afterbirth Plus before. I'm a little bit familiar with the game Afterbirth Plus. However, there's a version of Isaac Binding of Isaac Repentance that I have absolutely never seen. And a lot of people suggest playing this one first, so here we are. We're gonna be playing a bit of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. If people enjoy the series, I'll play more of it. We've got a pill in there. I do start with one bomb. I suppose I should explain things. To the top left here, you see that I have zero pennies, one bomb, two keys. These are things I can pick up, and um, with bombs I can destroy rocks like this if I want. That is the boss door down there. You'll see it's marked with a skull on our map. So my plan is to play a little bit of Afterbirth, and then move on to Repentance, uh, which <laughs> I'm totally blind for. I have no clue what they've added in that game. I've never watched anybody play any of it, and that's going to be the real experience. But if you all like Afterbirth Plus, I'll try and unlock a lot of things here before I move on to that completely fresh repentance experience. Because I've not experienced a lot of this game either, to be honest. I got lucky when playing it on stream. My first run, I beat Mom, which is the... Spoiler alert. <laughs> which is the, the boss for the first time playing through the game. I could use a key to get into my store here, but I don't have a lot of money, so I don't think I'll do that. Might be worth it to blow my way in here. Maybe? Um, I think so. I'll do it, just for sake of fun. 
You guys can see how a bomb works. Get the Ludovico technique in here, destroy some of this poop. <laughs> For those of you who are new to the Binding of Isaac, there's a lot of poop in this game. And sometimes you can find treasures in that poop. All right, so we haven't really gotten anything for our bomb here. We did pick up another, so I'm gonna try it right here. It's not the smartest idea, but uh, <laughs> it's exploratory. This heart seems to be afraid of me. I don't need a heart pickup anyway. My health is full, so I'm just gonna move on. We probably would have been better off using our bomb to get ourselves the pill, but so, so be it. We didn't choose to do that. So we're going to be stepping into our first boss with the Ludovico technique. Again, very interesting first item. We'll see how we do. Larry Jr. So one benefit of this item, at least, is that I can, <laughs> if I can focus on it, I can get my character away from the enemies and just use the tier on the enemies. Like right here. I'm not near Larry Jr. at all. Although, that's changing. I can just kind of chase it around with my tear. That didn't go too badly. Did take some damage, but being new to Isaac, I will expect that. The game has a bit of that uh, momentum thing. When you move, you take a second to slow down when you stop. All right, so upon defeating the bosses in this game, you get item rewards. This one is the Cat of Nine Tails, and it increased my shot speed and my damage, I believe it said. Not sure if there's a way for me to see that again. I do see it on the side there under my stuff. We've got the Ludovico technique and the Cat and Nine Tails, but I don't believe we can go in there and see what it actually does. But we do see our stats here under the paused button. Um, we've got two speed, one, I think that's shot speed, three strength, three range, uh, tears height maybe, and luck. Not absolutely sure. And we've gone down to our second floor out of, it looks like, six on our first run. Probably a little bit behind the clock, expectation-wise, just because I've stopped to explain some things a little. Ooh, this is a scary room for <laughs> controlling my tier like this. But it worked out. Hey, I didn't get hit. It does figure that on my first Isaac run uh, here on YouTube, they're going to give me a run where I have to watch two things. Isaac and my tier. I'm going to try out to the left here. These are the types of enemies I want to see. Ones that kind of mind their own business. I can stay away from them. They stay away from me. My tier can just sort of hunt them down. <laughs> if we get rooms full of just those, I'm gonna be a happy man. Oh, this is a little bit scary. All right. There might not even be any enemies in here. Oh, stay away from me. Oh, we're being chased. All right, we got out of there. There were not enemies. <laughs> we, we found the boss room too, although you don't usually wanna go to the boss room right away because it is worth it to go uh, collect an item on the floor. Every floor, at least in the early game, uh, has an item for you to collect. And I want a little bit more than just this Ludovico technique. It's cool and all. I can dance with it. Not too many people can say they can dance with their tears. Oh. Ah, uh, we took a hit. Dang. Alright, so... <laughs> unfortunately, we're gonna have to pass through that room one more time. But let's explore some of these other ones. Alright, that's not my item room. Come on, Ludovico Technique. Save me. Alright, we dodged around that guy. Kind of proud of that. A little bit. <laughs> Eventually, playing the Binding of Isaac, I expect I'll uh, get my footwork in order. Dodge around things real easily. But right now, simple dodges are going to impress me. I'm sorry. Really starting to wish I didn't use that bomb on the last floor. We didn't get too much out of it. But it is what it is. Got plenty of keys. So let's see what we've got for an item. This is the bean. Toot on command. So now we have an activated item I can activate with space. I'm gonna do it here, because honestly, this item is not that useful. See, it makes me fart. 
That fart can poison enemies, I believe. I think that's how that works. Uh, but ultimately, not one of the more useful items in the game. We did take a hit there again. Let's try to avoid that. There we go. And slide through there, just have a little bit of patience. We're down one heart and we're going into the boss. I think we'll be okay. All right, Monstro. I am aware of Monstro. Monstro's a fairly simple boss. I'm getting kind of lucky here. I mean, it is the first run. I don't think they're going to throw too much awfulness at us. As long as I stay outside the range of the tiers a little bit, I can keep going in with the Ludovico technique. Don't have to worry about taking too much damage. Just sort of sit my tier on him. Yeah, keep spitting. <laughs> keep doing it. And he's dead. Monstro's tooth has appeared in the basement. And we get our heart back. So that uh, monster's tooth has appeared in the base basement, I believe, means a new item is now in the game for me to collect, should I find it. We've gotten stem cells, which gave us another heart container. And we're progressing to the next floor. So, it's been a little while since I produced a video on YouTube. Plenty of you have seen me stream. I'm going to be sending a lot of people over from my stream, so hello, hello frequent viewers <laughs> but I've been away from YouTube for a while we've had a little bit of content here and there this is the first one with this model my sort of definitive look for the moment Eccentrop 2.0 and um, I'm looking to expand my content to YouTube a little bit more Ooh, not taking not too proud of some of the hits I'm taking here I even took that when I was all ready to dodge it's not from talking, it's just I'm not used to the controls on this yet. Um, so I'm trying to parse out some games that are a little bit better for YouTube than they are for streams. I'm not sure that Binding of Isaac is one of them, because Binding of Isaac streams are awesome, but it's what I felt like playing today, so <laughs> that's what we get. <laughs> uh, but I am very open to suggestion at this, at this early time of making YouTube content. So if any of you have a game you'd love to see me play, I'm open to it. I'm particularly interested these days in roguelikes and roguelites, and have missed out on a lot of them in the past, so perhaps expect to see a little bit of rogue legacy? Perhaps to see some Hades? I uh, especially think we're going to be playing some Hades because I'm interested in that game and I've never seen it played, and I have wanted to play it for a long time. But we're going to have at least a few episodes of Binding of Isaac here, uh, particularly to get ourselves on the path to playing Repentance and experience some brand new material that I have absolutely no knowledge of. Alright, so we got ourselves a tarot card, the tower. This, this, I believe, spawns a bunch of bombs when I use it. Which can be a little dangerous for me. <laughs> but I have no bombs still, so we might be able to use that um, to my benefit. We got one bomb from there, and our health is back. So I appreciate that. Did we skip the item room? We might have. It looks like it was in here. Yeah, we didn't unlock it yet. Don't want to do that. I have no clue what this is. Gemini, conjoined friend. Alright! Okay! I'm actually a Gemini myself. Star sign wise. I guess there's probably still benefit to exploring these other rooms here. If I bring up the big map, we can see that there's a couple rooms, one under me and one to the left and up that I haven't explored. Since I'm a little bit shy on some resources, as long as I don't take too much damage in these rooms, which it looks like I'm not going to in here, luckily, uh, then I can collect some more resources. Maybe make my future life a little easier. Okay, so this Gemini, I'll show you this again. It actually reaches out and attacks enemies for me, which is useful. It's probably pretty good to have this alongside Ludovico technique, because if I'm too busy <laughs> watching my tear fly around, uh, potentially I will notice my little conjoined baby here turn red and start attacking something if it gets close to me. And that will bring my attention back to my actual character. I would guess that's beneficial here. Looks like we got a challenge room. I probably wouldn't take this normally. 
Uh, but for the sake of this being my first YouTube video in a long time and for entertainment value, let's do it. Let's do a challenge. We got a couple of keys, good amount of money. All right, I'm gonna let my baby do some damage before I focus on the tier. All right, there we go. Two I can handle. Collect that other key. We got some charging worm enemies here or maggots perhaps. All right, easy enough. I think there's a third wave. There is. Oh, and this one's gonna run at me, okay. Well, this isn't too hard to deal with, um, I think, using my tier. Yeah, easy enough. All right, so we did take a hit. We're down one heart, but I believe there's another one on the floor. It looks like there is on the big map right in front of my boss. Now, <laughs> the very first time I played Binding of Isaac on stream, I beat the final boss. As I said, I beat Mom on my first try. I'm actually not sure what this is either. Let me see. Liberty Cap, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. I'm not sure what that does for us, but it's a trinket. It's placed itself on the bottom left of my screen. Still don't think we have quite enough money to justify opening the shop up, so I'll leave it. So since I did beat Mom on my first try on stream, I kind of feel a little bit of pressure to do that here. So let's not die to Gertie Jr., which is kind of an unfortunate boss to encounter uh, with this item, if I'm going to be honest. I think I'm not crazy about chasing this guy around with the Ludovico technique. We haven't taken a hit yet. Jinx, jinx, jinx. Oh, that was close. This guy, oh, there's our hit. Oh, there's two hits. Yeah, it can rack up quickly with this guy because he likes to charge at you and it seems like he gets a little bit faster as the battle goes along. We're taking a lot of hits, actually. I might have jinxed myself right before the fight saying, hey, let's, uh, let's beat mom on our first try. Ludovico technique might make that a little tricky. Although this item, pentagram, damage up. I got these little horns on my head now <laughs> for any Isaac newbies. Every item I pick up changes my appearance a little bit. Pentagram gave me horns. So I'm looking kind of badass here right now. Maybe uh conjoined twin on my back is cramping my style a little. Maybe not. Pentagram damage up is going to be helpful for trying to beat mom on the first run. We'll see how we do. In the caves, part two. Oh. All right, took some pointless damage there, but I think we've got enough of a floor here to hopefully get our health back. What do we got in here? Radiation? Toxic shock, mass poison. All right, I'm not really sure what to expect from that yet. We'll see. Okay, so... It Poisoned everything upon me entering the room. That seems really good, actually. At least at this point, where the enemies are all, all kind of weak. It seemed to take out most of those enemies. Maybe that was just a particularly good room for showing it off. Here we go. Let's try this. Oh, these guys look like they're going down pretty quick after the poison. Yeah, look, these guys all just died right away. Okay, so this item we just picked up, this toxic shock thing... This might be a game changer for us, along with the extra damage that our tier is now doing with Ludovico technique and pentagram. I'm feeling kind of good about this now. We're slowly gaining back our health. Let's try not to take any stupid hits. All right, I thought these guys were going to die to the poison, but I think it almost brought them there. And we now have 15 cents, so I am going to open up the store. We see that there is an item here for 15 cents. I'm not positive about what that is. It's mom's purse, I believe, is the item, but I don't remember what it does. Maybe it gives me a pill or two. Uh, just for the sake of... Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll leave it for a minute. We'll see if we collect any additional money. Because there is a machine in there that allows me to pay a cent to try and re-roll the shop and get new items. If I get a lot of more money here, I might be able to get something else better out of it. But for uh, completionist's sake, it actually does matter to pick up every item in this game that you have not previously had on a run. And since this is my first run, there's some extra money. By the way, we just got five cents. That might be helpful. 
Since this is my first run, I've never had any items before. So all of them count as new and are good for my uh, <laughs> completionist's heart. Uh, let me check this again. Okay, so this up here I think might be a tinted rock. There's a rock here with an X on it. I think that might give me something special if I blow it up. I'm gonna try. Yes, we got a bomb and a key from it. Nice. All right, I thought I spotted that. Didn't stand out as much as I uh, I thought tinted rocks were supposed to, but. Oh, we just picked up something called a golden key. I think it's called a golden key. It is a golden key either way, which essentially gives us infinite keys for this floor. I'm gonna guess it's not really worth using a bomb to get that card, although I don't know what it is. So it's not... It's not probably the most informed guess. And now we got another bomb, so let's just do it. Game picks gives me a bomb right after I say. Two of diamonds. All right, so that duplicates my money. Let's use that. Uh, I think, oops. Oh, I just wasted a bomb. Wrong button. That's how you know I'm actually an amateur at this game. <laughs> Even with a little bit of knowledge of the items, I'm gonna just bomb myself. Well, now we have 42 cents and one less bomb. At least we still got the tower. I was feeling good about regaining some of our health, but we just took away a solid heart. Maybe we'll get a little bit more in here. Now we got a key. Not too many opportunities on this floor to make use of our infinite keys, but we did have a locked room here. Oh, that's a scent. I need a scent to get in here. We still will. Got another scent just by coming in, so I guess that's fine. With 42 cents, I'm gonna do a little bit of gambling. <laughs> Let's use the slot machine here, see if we can get anything fancy out of it. We got a coin back. We gotta make sure we keep enough to use our shop a little bit. That's what I was sort of hoping for, that we might get some of our health back. So now we're only missing half a heart. As we get up there in the floors, I don't want to risk things too much going into these bosses, because most of the bosses of Binding of Isaac are going to be completely new to me. Uh, experiencing them anyway, even if I'm familiar with the boss itself. Alright, our machine blew up. Maybe a little preemptively, but we do have full health. Not going to bother with the other things in there at the moment. And we're going to go down and visit our store, and then proceed on to our boss. So what do we have? Let's try this re-rolling thing. Um, it gave me the treasure map. Fully visible map. So on this floor it doesn't matter, but that might be helpful on the next one that we go to. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna re-roll this again. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. We've now picked up a spirit heart. I believe they're called, or they might be soul hearts. I've gotten some naming influence from some of the people I've seen play this game before. Not gonna lie, my first experience with Binding of Isaac uh, was Northern Lion, which a lot of you Isaac fans out there probably already know. Watched him play the original Java Isaac, and then Wrath of the Lamb, and then... Uh, what came out after that? I guess Afterbirth. Uh, oh no, Rebirth, then Afterbirth. And that's where some of this knowledge comes from. We got Mega Fatty here now. But I did not see a lot of this game played by him. The uh, Afterbirth Plus, I mean. And I've never seen any Repentance. So when we eventually get around to that, that's gonna be a blind experience. I did not realize he was going to suck me up there. We took some damage because he pulled us in, so let's watch out for that. It's trying to stand kind of close to him so that my baby could do its magic. Oh! We almost got hit again, but we got out of there. And he's dead. Luckily he didn't move too much, so I could kind of... <laughs> I could kind of park my tear on him. So that said, Little Chubby has appeared in the basement. I'm gonna try and avoid making a joke about that. <laughs> As I technically make a joke about it. And we got some range up and some luck up. I don't know if range up really affects this Ludovico technique. It does feel like I move it a little faster, but that might just be my brain trying to cope. 
But luck up, we'll take that. We're on the second to last floor. Let's see if our uh, luck gives us anything fancy here. The Depths won. Oh yeah, we got this poisonous thing on us. Did it feel like the poison kind of went away on the last floor? I don't know. Let's do a challenge. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna risk that first run defeat of mom on the challenge. Might as well. It's all for entertainment. This is for you guys. I'm feeling pretty strongly about, about this run right now. It doesn't seem like we're in too much danger, I say, as I take damage. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Alright, that was just our spirit heart lost, though, so we're okay. Ooh, these guys blow up. Better stay away from them. I guess that's a risk I take with this uh, room poisoning effect that I have. If there's an enemy that blows up and they start close to me, could be in a little bit of trouble. I wasn't sure how to feel about getting Ludovico technique on this run, but it's actually doing wonders for me. That combined with the poison weakening everything. I think I got a little lucky. We're getting back a lot of our money here. Uh, this chest is in the middle of a bunch of spikes. I don't think I'm gonna go for it. You know what? Let's just pass that by. I love how quickly everything goes down because the poison weakens them. That's very valuable. Oh, live bomb. Let's not get blown up by that. 15 cents, we're back to that. That's sort of the magic shot number. Oh God. These guys are all trying to shoot their heads at me. It's an uncomfortable design for an enemy, for sure. <laughs> Well, we disposed of them. Get ourselves another penny for our troubles. And three keys! Alright, well, we got 11 keys, so why not? Two of them used there. We picked up Cricket's Head for extra damage. I'll take that. My character looks thoroughly traumatized now. Got another key, got some coins. Backup heart if we lose a lot of health. And yeah, I'll be, uh brazen and use a key for a single cent there why not oh yeah and look there the map that we picked up earlier is showing us the whole floor so we know where everything is ahead of time which is kind of cool i'm still gonna try to explore most of these rooms i should not have taken damage there let's just go right back up and collect our half heart that's a little embarrassing <laughs> i kind of walked right into that that should have been a freebie room that's my bad Wow, this poison, it's working for us. All right, so we got a ton of money now, so we do want to visit our shop here too. And we get Dark Bum. He wants to take your life. Okay, so I'm familiar with this guy too. He will pick up red hearts on the floor that uh, we don't pick up. And he'll occasionally trade you an item for them. And I think that item is Spirit Hearts. Typically, man, this poison. I'm gushing about the poison, but I swear it's carrying me right now. All right, so this looks like a scalpel. I'm not sure what it does, but let's pick it up. Ventricle razor short cutter. Hmm, so it's an item. It's an item that has appeared in my activated slot, taken over the beans place. It doesn't look like it has a charge, which insinuates to me that I might pay for it in another way. Is this something that takes my own life? Let's see. Oh. What's that? <laughs> I seem to have... I've made something weird and blue on the floor. Alright. Moving on. Let me... Let's get BFF. That sounds cool. Your friends rule. Oh! <laughs> it's made my uh, conjoined twin gigantic. We're a little bit more uh, twins now. Our heads are about the same size. Also, my dark bum. Did my tear get larger too? 
Maybe that just got larger with my damage. All right, I'll take it. I'm not sure that's going to be too beneficial. Dark Bum, you want to take that heart? He did. He's got nothing to give me for it, but that's fine. So there's a weird sound being made every time I go into a new room, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> the giant conjoined twin is a little scary. Wow. Dedge. We got the chariot. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I think that's temporary invincibility to hurt the enemy a lot. We are on depths one, which means we're on the second to last floor. We do have half a heart laying on the floor that Dark Bum could potentially take, but we'll see what we need after the boss. The gate. Just kind of sit my damage on him. Ooh, these extra enemies it's spawning is not fun. Maybe my little uh, conjoined twin can help clean that up. All right, and the gate has gone, ooh. Gate's gone down, but we took a lot of extra damage there. And unfortunately, Dark Bum kind of picked up all the hearts that it dropped. Now, he gave me two spirit hearts, which is nice, but we could have used some of the red hearts as well. We'll pick up Mom's underwear. Give us additional range. Once again, I'm not sure range actually does anything to the Ludovico technique tier. I don't think it's got limited range to begin with. We probably should have used the chariot, but I'll take it on to our next boss. And with one cent, I don't think anything in here is going to be valuable to us. I don't really understand what we did right here. Let me try and use it again. Let's use it like over here. Oh, is it like... Oh, let me see. Okay, so it's like a portal. Fast, <laughs> fast travel between a level. That's interesting. I don't know that it's that useful. I don't mind walking between places, but... It's interesting. Probably still a little bit more helpful than the bean. Unless I'm underrating the bean, but I'd be a little surprised. Uh, half a heart down in here. I'm gonna try and take this before Dark Bum does, because I actually do need the red hearts. And then we'll go back to the other floor. Yes! I walked all that distance just to collect half a red heart. <laughs> That's what to expect. If we play a lot of Binding of Isaac episodes on this channel, I, I'm probably going to be thorough until I get really used to the game and then maybe I'll get cocky. We'll see. Alright, down to the final floor. Which, <laughs> if my math is correct, should be the Depths 2. There we go, Depths 2. We got a challenge room on our right, but this one won't let us in because this is a boss challenge room. Requires us to be down to one heart to get inside. Oh, we got a, an optional boss in here. I kind of forgot about those. Uh, I guess it's actually good that Dark Bum went in there and collected all those hearts because I don't think I can. So we just got an extra spirit heart out of that. It's nice. <laughs> this room just instantly died from our poison. I kind of wonder, is the poison affected by our own strength? Because our strength, let's see, our strength is quite high right now. Uh, in fact, per potentially max. It's at 7, I think it is. I don't know if that's max or just the max that it will show me there on the stats. Oh boy. Scary, scary hand enemies. All right, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. I think I took them both out with my tear right there. Come on, man. Are you gonna open up? You guys gonna let me hurt you? Or, ah, uh, a little tricky with the tear. Okay, we got one of them. Do it, open up. Alright, like my little baby killed him, and we got some flies for killing that one. I guess it's because he was like a champion one. Another spirit heart. Oh, we unlocked one of the other characters. Okay, we unlocked Lazarus. I, I guess that must be having four spirit hearts. Or maybe a certain amount of spirit hearts in a run. I'm not sure. 
But we got him. I did not expect to unlock another character this run, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that poison's just killing everything right away. Alright, so we got the Hanged Man. That lets us fly for a room. I'm gonna leave it behind because right now I don't need to fly, but if we see an item we can't get to that we really want, we can consider that card. I suppose I should be trying to use this scalpel to teleport around, right? I just currently don't really see the benefit. I'm sure there's some. I guess if you find the boss and you're like, oh, I, I want to come back here later. You can leave a, <laughs> a scalpel teleport at the boss and put the other one down when you want to go back. But that doesn't seem like a circumstance that's going to come up for me since I have this map item. And I know where everything is. I can kind of just beeline to what I want. Now, what is this? This is anti-gravity. Anti-gravity tears and tears up. Uh, again, I don't know if that affects my tier at all. Ludovico technique is one that... I don't see being affected by too many other tier synergies, but perhaps. It's no reason to open the shop right now since I only have three cents to my name, but if we get a little richer, maybe. <laughs> Did not think I was going to take damage there, but alas, lost half a spirit heart. Not too bad, but we shouldn't be taking stupid damage as much as possible. Now, I am going to be probably a little bit harsh on myself for some of this because I'm coming from watching people who are quite good at playing this game uh, as somebody who's not played it myself, so... <laughs> I, I shouldn't be judging myself off the same standards, but I can't help it. Alright? My entire notion of what Binding of Isaac is is from watching people who are good at the game play it. Uh, I think this is it! You know, I feel like we have a pretty good chance. There's nothing else we really need to explore on this floor. This is Mom. Let's get in there. Mom is a difficult fight, but we've got the chariot card. I've got some bombs if I want it. We've got some pretty good strength. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna use the chariot. I'm gonna hurt these little lumps that appear on the wall. <laughs> So mom uh, spawns these wall lumps and also tries to step on you. So we gotta watch out for the shadow when the foot's gonna come down. Uh, looks like we've done a lot of damage already though. Our damage output is just so huge. Doesn't even matter that we're taking a little bit of damage here. I think this is an easy victory. <laughs> there we go. His mother fueled Story time. To serve her God was bearing down. I'm told, my lord, I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of it's the, the end. Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, <gasps> sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. <laughs> Bonk. And just like that, it was over. There we go. Happy Isaac, victory over his... Uh-oh. Maybe not such a victory. <laughs> we'll let the credits run. First time. Uh, you know, I lived up to it. We defeated Mom the first time we tried playing on stream. We defeated Mom the first time we tried playing on YouTube. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, that's gonna be the first episode of Binding of Isaac. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a welcome back to YouTube. Welcome back, Ricky. I hope all you watched to this point had a good time. Didn't mind my Isaac ramblings. <laughs> we'll be seeing plenty of extra YouTube content from me in the near future. Additional Binding of Isaac, other roguelikes, and probably other games altogether as soon as I figure them out. Again, totally open to suggestions right now. If there's any type of content you all want to see, let me know. And, uh... I guess I'll let the credits run out here just just to make sure that the game developers are properly credited. We won't watch it every time we finish. Um, but first time, why not? And otherwise, see y'all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya. 
Unlocked the womb. Unlocked challenge 20. Unlocked challenge 21. Challenge 22. Challenge 25. Challenge 28. Challenge 29. Challenge 30. Challenge 32. And the harbingers. And a cube of meat. <laughs> you get a cube of meat. You get a cube of meat. You get a cube of meat. You get